Hey y'all, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my channel. So last weekend I went to the Treasure Island Flea Market. It was actually recently my birthday, so I kind of bought myself some birthday goodies. So this is kind of like flea market birthday haul and I just thought I would share these items because I found some really unique pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and show with you the clothing items that I found. First, I found this really beautiful cover-up. This is actually a handmade cover-up that um, I found at the flea market. This woman, she hand dyes and sews these beautiful sweaters and cover-ups. This material is just so heavy and soft. I'm always on the lookout for a good cover-up because I don't really like having my shoulders exposed too much, so I like having a cover-up on me if I'm going out. And I actually wore this for my birthday last night. It was a really fun night. I went out with a couple girlfriends. And I wore it with a thrifted top and just a simple black skirt and my heels. And I felt really good and comfortable in it. Honestly, I'm, a, I'm hurting a little bit today, but I'm okay. Yeah, I had a good, I had a good time last night, that's for sure. <laughs> Next, I found this awesome Harley Davidson racing jacket. It's actually a children's jacket. The sleeves are a little bit short, but I actually like that. It's a really fun jacket to throw on top of just like a simple black bodycon dress or any kind of dress like that. And, you know, again, I don't like going out without a jacket or anything, so uh, a little jacket like this kind of adds some interest to your outfit. And I, I wore it a couple times now, and I've gotten quite a few compliments on it. It's just a really fun piece to have, and I'm pretty stoked that I found it. The last article of clothing I bought is this vintage Everlast sweatshirt. And the dude who was selling this to me told me that this is really vintage because I guess Everlast hasn't made anything in the U.S since the 70s and on the tag it says it's made in the USA you know he could have totally just been trying to sell this to me and marking up the price or whatever but I, I like this I think it's really unique and really cool I don't know if I said this yet but I am getting my master's degree in acupuncture and Chinese medicine so a lot of times when I go to class I have to wear really comfortable clothes because we have to like find points or like feel out muscles and different things so I like finding pieces like this that are comfy and also are interesting because I tend to wear just the same thing to school black leggings and like a tank top and then something on top so that's like my school uniform so having a cool piece like this to kind of add into the mix make it a little sporty, a little cool uh, I'm always into those kind of things. I found one piece of jewelry and honestly I don't wear jewelry that much because either I just totally forget to put it on or I just feel too embellished like there's too much going on. I kind of like to keep it simple most of the time but this bracelet that I found is really cool. It's leather and metal bracelet with an S I also realized that I could wear it as a choker, so it's very versatile. I don't think I've ever seen anybody with something like this before, and I hope that I will remember to wear it sometime soon. I got a couple little random things. There was this really cute little soap stand, so I bought this aloe vera and comfrey soap, and I use bar soap as my hand soap. So I'm always looking for a really nice soap that's moisturizing and has natural ingredients, and I'm always down for handmade soaps. It like pretty much costs the same as buying a, a natural soap in Whole Foods or some place like that, and you actually see the person who's making it, which is really cool. So I was happy that I was able to purchase this, and then I purchased this tea from this San Francisco company called Teewee, and it's called Sippin' Pretty, and it has nettle leaf, lemon verbana, rose petals, chamomile, and spearmint, and it's supposed to be good for like relaxing and also supposed to be really good for your skin, and they actually provide these little satchels. So once you use the tea and seep it, you can actually put them inside these little satchels and then put them on your eyes if you have puffiness or anything, which I thought was really sweet. And the guy who was selling these teas was saying that you can mix it with honey and use it as a mask. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. This brand actually, they had so many different kinds of teas 
they have um, a location in San Francisco, so if you're in San Francisco, you should definitely check them out because they have these crazy names and all different kinds of teas. It was really a fun experience visiting their stand at the flea market. So those are all things that I bought at the flea market. I just want to show y'all one more birthday gift to myself that I got. Yeah! I bought new Doc Martens. This is my fourth, fourth pair of Doc Martens and I can't believe I haven't had black ones yet, which is really crazy. I have like leopard print and uh, like the ox blood color and I have a green color. So uh, yeah, it's time to break these in. I've already worn them one time and I just, every time I just forget how much it sucks to break these in. But once they're broken in, they mold to your feet. I have really wide hobbit feet and these boots are just the best for me because they actually fit me and they don't hurt my feet walking around. So I'm just going to be wearing Doc Martens for life. Each pair just like lasts forever. I don't see any of my other Docs dying out anytime soon. I'm really happy that I was able to go out and get those for my birthday. That's my flea market birthday haul. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you know of any flea markets or craft fairs or anything in the San Francisco Bay Area that I should check out, I just love that kind of stuff. And if you've never been to a flea market before, you should definitely try and see if there's one in your area. A lot of flea markets are just a bunch of crap, but if you keep digging through all the crap, you will eventually find some really cool pieces. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have Instagram, you can find me at SoothingSista. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye!